Uh, but, uh, hello? Uh, hello? <laughs> what the? Uh, okay, apparently VC phase decided to close itself down instead of minimizing. So let me just set this up again. Uh, anyways then, uh, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... He is a mighty lieutenant trick here at your service, and I'm wearing the wrong helmet. Uh, well, there's a lot of water around, but let me just swap that out for you. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Never claimed to be professional with all of this, and I likely never <laughs> will be. <laughs> Thank you. And, yeah. Welcome back to Everland 2, uh, which actually has a subtitle, A Slight Case of Space-Time Something Something. It's a very long <laughs> subtitle. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> this is our 10th stream of this, and last time, well, we got to the Ancient Era. Uh, there we go. For some reason, Goggles wasn't responding. But yeah, now we're in the time of the Magi, and apparently... There is something called the Anomaly, which sounds like some sort of mystical black hole, and hello. And you wish to know what the cannon, uh, what the cannon is for? We call this the Large Hyperion Cannon. It's quite simple. We use the LHC to send various objects into the Anomaly. Afterwards, we examine the temporal output at its horizon. Would you like to send something into the Anomaly using the LHC? As you are not a member of the Anomaly Research Center, you'll have to get authorization from the Anarchivist at the Great Library, which is where the Temporal Ethics Board is based. Yeah, for the, the oldest era, or the furthest back in time, this place seems to be the most advanced, actually, which, well, the Magi were said to be extremely advanced, because they're talking about quantum stuff and such. <laughs> we have a lovely view of the Anomaly from here. Do you think someday the anomaly will engulf all of time? Ah, oh, we're romantic thoughts. Uh, romantic. Uh, yeah. Uh, would you like to set sail? Yep. Uh, oh, oh, that is the anomaly. Okay, a giant ass whirlpool. And okay. So, hmm. Okay, all of the landmass that was that is supposed to be around here, well is not here, or is supposed to be in the future. Yeah, so, no, no, yeah. not, not out of place. <laughs> Magilith Isle? Okay, let's have a visit. It's going to be hard to identify what might be where compared to the other times, since it's just such a freaking leap. We've probably gone back millen <laughs> millennia in time instead of just 50 years jumps. Welcome to Magilith Isle. This island is where artificially, uh, was artificially created with the help of robo-servos designed by the Molecular Research Center. We plan to install the man new Magilith here before, you know, before long. True, they are not yet finalized, but soon enough this spot will become a popular point of departure from tempor uh, for temporal exploration. Okay, and yeah, they were mastering time travel. We've been ma time traveling through time with their Magilith, so... We're either at the point where they're just about to perfect it, or just about to really start with it. Curious robot? That's disappointing. I came all this way to see the Magilith, but it's not set up yet. Okay, I, this must be the aisle we've been going to back all this time. There's also this black giant eye here, which I'm presuming in what is, I'm presuming is tile, and yeah, here is where it would be set up. This is why we haven't been able to travel here with this Magilith we've been using all this time, because it doesn't quote-unquote exist in this time yet. Instead of attempting to travel through time, they should be devoting their energy to saving it. When time is no more, we won't be traveling anywhere. And yeah, something with the anomaly has them suspecting that yeah, it could destroy all time if left alone or nothing is done about it, but it's not in the future. So what happened with it? Or did it just... Does it travel back in time or something? Where the further back in time you go, the bigger it becomes? Like, I believe there was a Star Trek episode like that. Let's see. If, 
I don't entirely trust those robo-servos. What if someday an artificial intelligence takes over and sends robots back in time to kill us all off? Not terribly likely, that. Do I even need to say the reference? Construct, build, enlarge, destroy? No, not destroy. Not yet. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh. Okay, then. Anything else further this way? I mean, say, yeah, the Anomi <laughs> looks very different from the rest of the map. It looks very differently animated. Yeah, it looks alien as it probably should, since it's ball at a hole in space and time. I would say here? more uh, bad pixel graphic. <laughs> Access to the molecular research center is restricted to authorized personnel only. Oh, it's you? You're already back? It's fine, you can go on through. Okay, they know goggles and, well, from the tutorial, we know that goggles came from here? Or something with here? In addition to our research on creating new life forms, our studies of time manipulation are proceeding well. If all goes according to plan, we should be able to prevent the Great Calamity. Yeah, a okay, second oh. disaster. Hmm? Okay, so they all plan to try to prevent some calamities. Yeah. Some of the greatest scientists are working in the Anomaly Research Center. It's quite a shame their research hasn't been fully applied due to all due to the library's overzealous board of ethics. Luckily, we don't have the same kinds of restrictions. Yeah, there's a reason boards of eth boards of ethics exist, especially with science. Are you new here as well? Or oh, just accepted into the molecular research center? It's amazing what they're doing here. Wouldn't you agree? This is world-changing stuff. You're a newbie too. Would you happen to know what goes on in the sublevel by any chance? I don't have access to that area, but it sure seems incredible. Okay, so there's something going on in the basement. Yes, well, we all know that sublevel is just a fancy word for <laughs> for basement. And okay, what have we here? Here are some of our most beautiful creations. These creatures can harness energy from nature and then store it biologically for us to siphon at will. All thanks to the miracle of molecular science. Are are these the guardians? They do? Some of them look familiar, or some of them would probably I guess if they were from uh, something else. But yeah, I might be caught in yet. Hello, Hello Barry! <laughs> Hello, Debrilius. How are you doing today? You're doing decently here. The heat has gone down a little bit, so we're not we're officially outside of a potential heat wave range for the moment. Because it could just as well spike up again today. Let's see, I'm back, baby. <laughs> okay, ba hello back, I'm Alien. <laughs> uh. oh, yeah, what have you been up to? <laughs> uh, let's see. With the help of these creatures, we'll have a near limitless amount of energy at their disposal. Likely a sufficient amount to sustain our, ma our, major, pro our major projects. Okay. Hm. Containment of creatures 100%. Nothing to report. Oh, hello, that's a big one. Tiny Tiki has gotten big, don't you think? At this rate, he'll be as big as one of the old Dark Age continents. Dark Age? Then he will generate enough energy all on his own. Who knows, maybe it could even swallow the anomaly. Is that the big-ass sea serpent that we've been seeing? Or at least the remains of, I suspect. Possibly. Uh, let's see. Really is teaching Baldur's Gate 3, expanding my D&D groups. I now DM for 18 players. <laughs> okay, how many groups are you DMing for then? I was impressed and concerned. Also, how do you teach Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> okay, four groups. <laughs> okay, that is almost that's a few groups of four and at least one of six, I presume, then. Or actually two of six, two of four could be fives in there. Anyway, 
Uh, sorry, teach and playing Baldur's Gate free. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Let's see. Current hybrid population 34, target 10,000. Results consistent with projected goals. Ah, uh, yeah, the demons. These new hybrids are wonderful, aren't they? They'll certainly make good servants. Hmm. Yeah, that, that's always going to blow, uh, be a blow to someone's uh, self-image to learn that they've been, well, their entire species was made to be servants. Uh, Access to some... Hello, Tatum! <laughs> Hello, Tatum, how are you doing today? <laughs> uh, let's see, Beryllius, yeah, three, four, seven, and four. Okay, that's the composition. Okay. Now, I've been trying to run a D&D group myself recently. It, which technically be my second, but the first lasted l short enough that I'd say it's the first official one. <laughs> it's... Okay, but having, having, been, having been having some trouble with getting everyone lined up with such and well, personal stuff coming up, breaking up the attempts for yesterday. Uh, let's see, Tatum, trying to put together a mod pack with horse mod and such and it won't launch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Road 20 is amazing. Like the, the previous time that I tried to run it, it was in the. Uh, I forget what. I forget the name of the site, but it's the place where you can find the Order of the Stick webcomic. In their forums, I tried to run a group, but it fell apart. People just stopped responding. Uh, let's see. This is the error the game crashed uh, whilst rendering overlay error. Job, da, 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 filter grid model for Minecraft. Okay, so something messing with the, the pig model or something? Hmm. Anyways, good luck with that. Uh, yeah, that look, that's, that reads to me that something is messing with the creation of the pig model. Uh, Shaskor might be able to help you with that, Tatum. Okay. Access to sublevel restricted to authorized staff. Access granted. Okay, so... I'm starting to get some questions about who or what Goggles is. Like, let's see, Project Defense System active, likelihood of lethal force 2%. Project completion 37%, estimated time to completion unknown. Okay. Look at one of those things. Energy supply 3%. Warning energy levels insufficient for activation. Okay, the heck are we up to here? I spent the better part of my life planning this project. With any luck, I'll see it put in motion within my lifetime. Yet there's still so much to do. At the most crucial you know, junctures, you have to make you know, tough decisions, T. We're counting on you to keep the project alive. Uh, was that meant for me or for the other guy? So you were chosen for the project, huh? It's a big responsibility. Keep your chin up. Thank you. What the heck is all of this about? It'll take us another several years to complete the project. Apparently, the Molecular Research Center has dealt with our energy supply problems. But we have to finish things up ourselves. Time is of the essence. The Great Calamity draws close. Do you realize what this machine could do? Should we successfully complete it, we'll achieve nothing short of immortality. To think that if uh, uh, we hadn't managed to remove the Stone of Time from the Anomaly, all of this would have been inconceivable. Hold on, the Stone of Time? And well, they retrieved it from the Anomaly, from which they said nothing could be retrieved? And I'm pretty sure we left that thing just sitting on a pedestal <laughs> on an island. The heck is this? Hmm. That's Hello. That desk. This is look. This looks familiar. This is the start of the game. This is where the game starts, right next and part of this project. But what is this project about? Immortality? How? Are they looking Saved? to ascend to a higher plane of existence or something? 
I'm so I don't guess it's a save function. <laughs> that that would be <laughs> that would be utterly hilarious if they've invented a save button. It has been the immortality function in, in another game once before. What its name? Uh, oh, right. Uh, it might have been Undertale. Yeah, I was about to say Undertale. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised that we're just al being allowed to roam freely like that. Like, there's very clearly that some of these people here know who Goggles is slash was. So, what the heck is going on? Who is Goggles? Or who slash what is Goggles? I thought he... I had a... I thought he could have been some sort of created android or something to act out the Major's wishes. But now I'm starting to doubt that. Major Library. Are we going to get some answers here? Uh, yes, we are. Hey, Goggles. This is a library. I mean, this must be THE library of the Magi. One set to contain the entirety of Magi knowledge and understanding. Please, oh please, 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 let me look around. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, we we control her now. Okay. Okay. It looks like our time here is up, but I still have so many things to find out, so no, we can keep going. I love this place. Okay, uh... Hmm. Uh, best bit of advice I can give you at the moment, Tatum, with your mod pack is to try deactivating mods one by one and then starting up just after each one to see which exactly might be causing issues. So, if you're looking for a particular book, talk to Professor Goggle. He will help point you in the right direction. He has an eidetic yeah, memory. How do they come up with these weird names? <laughs> You're in the Great Major Library. For the sake of other patrons, please refrain from talking. Also, chocolate and invisibility, <laughs> invisibility cloaks are strictly forbidden. <laughs> Harry Potter reference. Man, why is every librarian such a killjoy? <laughs> okay, we can't actually check out the books. Hold on, hold on. Has she done both of those things? Maybe. <laughs> Scanned documents come to us from the Dark Ages. It would appear the anomaly already existed then. And of course, the end of time theory originates from that distant period. At that time, it was known as the Great Destruction. Times change at the same fears persist. Did you know that centuries ago the sea level was much lower? Evidently, something caused a vast frozen continent to melt, thus allowing the sea level to rise several meters within a few decades. Unfortunately, most of the records from that period have been lost. It's intriguing to think there used to be a few large continents rather than several islands. That era is known as the Dark Ages. Maybe someday I can travel back to the Dark Ages too. Okay, this is getting a bit curious. Because Wait. we know in the future, there is going to be another... Oh, hold on a second. I think I just connected the dots, and I think you did as well. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while, and I've put more and more of that. This isn't this... the past. Yeah. This is the far future. The Magi, they could travel through time, but they didn't travel forwards in time. They traveled back. Okay. Okay. There's so much to know, to discover. Too much to learn in one lifetime. Because I, I was about to say it, that it sounded like things were being cycli uh, cyclical. Like, uh, uh, yeah, walls develop, then they get destroyed, uh, the, poles, the poles melt, and then eventually freeze up again. But that wouldn't make sense, because all the water would be spread about all over the planet, so it can only, quote unquote, sort of unpack from being frozen at some point. But this is the future, not the past. 
It saddens me deeply to know that each life invariably, invariably ends, to know I could never read all the books in existence or visit every land. At the same time, that might be why I consider each moment equally precious. It does make you think. Much has been written about the end of time. Most magi strongly believe the event is nigh. As a result, your research has advanced light years in a short time. I happen to be a skeptic. A skeptic. If time could meet its end, it shall happen. But I see no reason to believe it shouldn't carry on as it always has. Hopefully he's right about that. Hmm. There's a lot of high science that is far above my uh, head, that goes far above my head, but... I believe the current theory is not so much that time will end, but that at one point all of existence will have drifted so far apart from each other, that even molecules cannot even touch themselves, uh, touch each other, in a... yeah a hundred years or so, and at which point it is speculated that all of time, uh, that the universe will have met its quote-unquote end. Though I do believe some speculate that the world, you know, or the existence has existed and ended perhaps infinite times before, that each time that the universe reaches its maximum size or maximum expansion, that everything crunches back down, and a new uh, Big Bang occurs. Or maybe reality gets so torn apart by ex own expansion that it just explodes and everything... And yeah, there are multiple Big Bangs or something. I, I don't know, it's a lot of stuff that is uh, hard to think about and also rather scary to think about. So I'll leave it at that. What's <laughs> the thing of this world? Hmm. Uh, I know a decent amount of this world, but not too much. So what would you input on that? I would say this. This world takes place before the Big Bang that created our world. Okay. And um, this is a joke from the author, basically. The turtle we take the, sto the, the own story of is heading towards the Big Bang to meet all the turtles to mate. Yeah. <laughs> The, B the Big Bang, aka the Big Space Turtle Orgy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting person. <laughs> it's yeah. funny, it, it, it is no longer interesting and all that until that part came out of it. Okay, come on. Yeah, the, the thing I... The thing I... Quote unquote know most about this quote is that it's basically absurdist realism of sorts. Oh, that's pretty <laughs> mildly. <laughs> According to recent studies from the Anomaly Research Center, the anomaly exists in all times at once, but it remains to be confirmed. That is precisely why the Magilith project must be finalized, in spite of those who deem it too dangerous. I can confirm the Magiliths were completed, but we can say for certain that the anomaly wasn't there. And let's see, Brilius, it's almost midnight, I'm off, gents. Okay, see you later, Barry, and have a good night. Barry. Yeah. And of course, thank <laughs> that, and thank you for being here, even if it was short. Good to see you all the same. <clears throat> to make my dream a reality, I'll have to read about, about 2,000 books on various subjects. What's my dream, you ask? To work at the Molecular Research Center. So it is far and away the best research team in the world. Have fun with all that reading. <laughs> okay. Do make sure that there are books worthy of reading and not just that you're reading 2,000 children's books. But yeah, uh, back on the topic for a second again. We know that the anomaly doesn't exist through all the times that we can, uh, <clears throat> that we can visit. So we know we, it started at some point. And I think we can figure out at which point the, the fuse got lit. When the bomb went off. The great disaster. Oh. The big book on cooking with spices? It's in room D, shelf 7, row 68. The top 50 theories on the anomaly? Room A, shelf 18, use the ladder. Row 20, uh, 42. The end of time for dummies? Someone checked it out and never returned it. 
<laughs> this must be the famous Professor Gago. Quite the memory he's got. Wait, Gago. Uh, did you accidentally name a character similar to him? Maybe. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm on the board of Temporal Ethics. Our role is very simple. Establish guidelines and protocols for preventing accidents in time travel and scenarios. We've, ne we've prepared for all contingencies. That is, assuming everyone follows our recommendations. It's nice to know someone's planning ahead. Yeah, because otherwise you're going to have... Uh, your, uh, otherwise you're going to end up with a Sound of Thunder uh, scenario. Where basically you accidentally s <laughs> stop um, humanity from existing. Good day, miss. How may I be of assistance? I just so it just so happens I came into possession of a book some time ago. I'm afraid I don't understand all of it. Would you be willing to help me decipher it? A book, you say? May I see it? All right, she has the book of Borelius. Yes, here it is. My words! It's stupendous! This is a full tre uh, tre treatise, treatise, or whatever, on the science of cold. It makes some fascinating assertions. Might I make a copy? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Goggle, please. <laughs> do you have to spin? Yes, Archivist, what can I do for you? Quickly commit this work to memory and then make a full copy, please. Right away, sir. Not to worry, this should take but a moment. Now, D is fast! Okay, I, th I think I know how we can use this. If we have... Hmm, if we have a second book, we can put that back into the... Well, no, we've already put it back in the timeline. Uh, if we have a second book, we could save the frozen continents. But that yeah. would lead to the, the Vikings attacking. But that could be to our advantage. That way, the um, the war with the demons would not be as strongly fought because the empire would be split on two fronts. And we know it is strong to enough to defeat. No, well, just a fragment of it was strong enough to to eradicate the demons. But if we force them to fight on the two fronts, or maybe even have it so that the Vikings become such a threat that the Empire is forced to join forces with the demons, then the Great War would be completely averted. I'm all done, sir. Go ahead. I said, that could work. Thank you, Mr. Gargo. That will be all. Thank you kindly for contributing to the Great Library. It will surely take a number of years, but we shall eventually decode these equation, those equations. And that will enable us to replicate conditions of extreme cold. We will, of course, have to carefully monitor the reactions. Wouldn't want to freeze the entire island by accident. <laughs> uh, at, at any rate, by way of thanks, you have my approval to use the Research Center's large Hyperion cannon. You'll find it rather fun. You'll find it is rather fun. But take care not to send any old thing into the anomaly. Wait. Um. Okay, that puts a. Okay, it could be. That is. I'm guessing that's supposed to mean that. Possibly the frozen content be it was created because we brought the book here, but that would make this the past. But we already have a speculation that this is the future. So is. Is time literally cyclical here? That it just goes in a loop? Like the Wheel of Time? Huh. Okay. Now we can mess with the cannon, but what would we do with it? Yep. Yeah, well... <clears throat> hmm. yeah, but the problem is, that thing is not in the past. Yeah. Like, we. Our current speculation is that by setting off whatever device that was in the past, or quote unquote past, that created the great disaster, that that was, was led to the anomaly, but 
maybe it was not. It, like, the Magi built it for something. I very much doubt they would want to create the anomaly, unless it was they had to, to ensure that time would not break due to a paradox. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, would you like to send something? Yeah, you've received approval from the Anarchivist at the Great Library. Well, if you have the approval of the Board of Temporal Ethics, it shouldn't be a problem. What would you like to launch into the Anomaly? Uh... Wait, Carlos, you? Uh, I'm guessing this will just be a joke. So, uh... Are you serious? You actually want to be launched into the anomaly from the LHC? Yes. Very well. Everyone ought to be able to choose how they die, I suppose. But... <laughs> um... Ready? I've got a bad feeling about this. This is either... <laughs> either this is going to give a special... Uh, uh, game over, or... Glitched, you have, you have discovered the anomaly, and hello. Goggles, are you okay? He is merely unconscious, Miss Fina. It seems to me we're in the heart of the anomaly. Yeah, it feels awful strange here. Sort of warped. Most likely caused by the temporal frequencies. This place appears to somehow bend reality. Yeah, everything looks a bit bent, it, and even deconstructed down to its models and polygons. Goggles! It worked! Come on, all we've got to do is find the major key fragments. And then some way to get out of this plan out of this hellhole. But we have little certainty it's even in this location. True. Still, I'm itching to see what's up ahead. Okay. This is real wonky. Okay. Hello. This place is really odd, Goggles. It's like reality is distorted somehow. As if space time were compressed into a single spot. What? And that? I wonder what it could possibly be. Oh. Did you see that? The thingy activated. Don't walk on it, it could be dangerous. A timer? Don't walk on it, it could be dangerous. Oh, oh hello! We're, we're glitching time. We are creating multiple overlaying timelines here. Uh, uh, hmm? Huh? That's weird. Just after blinking on, it turned off. But yet, all of those things still got activated. Okay, that 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 is not something I think I've seen too much time too many times before. What the heck is this doing here? Did you do something, goggles? Oh really? I didn't see anything. You walked on the thingy and it turned off. If that was you know, if that was meant to be a riddle, it was kind of weak sauce. <laughs> I'm actually pretty underwhelmed by the mysteries of this anomaly. That's that's because yeah, you, yeah, you got to witness it, but also not. Okay, that could make things really interesting. And I'm not entirely sure if this effect is caused by just the world itself, or just messing with the lens, uh, lensing on the camera or something. Hello. Uh, uh, okay, now we're also going to mess with gravity. Uh, yeah, this place is definitely an anomaly. Uh, oh. No. 
stuff I in here. I don't like this. Okay, can't jump up there. Like, the game has been mostly fun and all, but this is... I'm not, I'm not sure how to categorize this. This is really freaking... Tough. It... Uh... Yeah. I think the uh, best I can think of is this is almost feels like the, how the, some these people describe uh, Lie for the Gotulum with us. I think you went sweet, is there? Describe what? Relie. Relie, Relie. Can't really say that sparks a. Uh, it's where Kufula sleeps. Oh, that. Okay. Hmm. Can't hit that. And it that. to be very... Uh, they, they have a lot of fancy wording. Uh, in, uh, like perverse, non... You morph... The, I can barely even begin to, to pronounce all of that words. But do recall okay. that we started to be... The buildings were impossibly designed at all, or such. Okay. Let's see. Magilis that are inactive. Another one of these that is also inactive. Okay, do we have to activate that? Let's see. That just... Oop. Okay, that drops us into a new area. Okay, I... I... I'm pretty sure people could get some sort of motion sickness from all of this, so sorry about that, if anyone has that. <laughs> no need for that. What? Okay. What do you say? No need for that. Yep. Also, I note, we have this, we have the sword beams when we are in 2D but not in 3D, so that's going to be of importance. Let's... Hmm. Okay, how do we progress here, then? We can't jump to that or anything. Or maybe... Hold on. There we go. Okay, we can use Fina's ability to activate them as well. Okay. Yeah, th this place is <laughs> proper freaky like this. Okay, that's too low to be hit. I don't remember some of the phrase they use for relay. I think I remember some of them. Impossible, perverse, you, 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 no, that geometry. Thank you. Why am I struggling with that word? <laughs> Okay, I think I see what we need to do there. Okay, I, I, I have to say... I am really impressed with what they've done with this. Oh yeah, I, I'm impressed. But I do worry I gotta get seasick from this. <laughs> like, my brain does not like this. If it becomes too much, just say so. And we can take a, a break or something. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm not seasick yet, but I will let you know. There we go. Now, what can we reach from here? But I do Not know sure. that if I had taken my painkillers today for some headache and neck pain I had today, this would have been very painful now. Okay, so getting the chest activated the Magilith. So I'm guessing we have to reach three more chests okay this looks like the dungeon we were in oh hello oh i see okay this is combining a tile puzzle with uh yeah with the time me uh, messing me mechanic. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Let's go here first. And do this. Okay. Okay, do I need to do it with just two? Let's see. Go this way and activate that. And you go this way and activate this. No, if the if the duck copy goes over. Hmm. It is going to make things more complicated. Okay. Let's try this. This, and let's see if we get a third copy now. Okay. You mm. did, then you broke it, it seems. Okay, and then one more. Yeah, too fast. Okay, this is a bit annoying. Okay. We wait here a bit, then we move around. Yep. Uh, there's a delay. Okay, we need to move at the same time as that copy. Okay. There we go. And now just one more square. There. Okay. A bit annoying. But that should do it. Yep. Okay. And that is this is the floor from uh, the aisle. You know what the eye symbol means to the Magi goggles? No. The Magi have always sought knowledge. They wanted to know everything about the world, to see everything. This eye represents their quest for understanding. It's the all-seeing eye, the knowing eye. For a long time, like them, I thought everything could be discovered. But some things are beyond our understanding. By accepting, accepting that, you become wiser. Yeah, the wise man knows that they can't know everything, whilst the idiots will think they know everything. Let's see, what's the deal here? Oh, I see. It's ba it's basically life goes on. Like we have to send we have to send some copies of us <laughs> to the slaughter. Uh, what the heck? And then this one can go on through. Okay, this is really weird, but also really interesting as a mechanic. Okay, I'm guessing that... You okay, Goggles? You look a little pale. Yeah, we just watched ourselves die multiple times. I'm not sure I understand what's going on here. It's like I've forgotten certain things. You're managing well. It's as if you knew this place. I noticed it when we first met Goggles. You're really something special. Yeah, the, again raises the question, who or what are we? Like, are we a Magi? Are we even human? Or are we something completely different? Something from the anomaly? Okay, what have we here? Three that need to be activated. Oop, uh, what's that? 
Hello? I don't... Oh, that thing activated it, and now that is cop... Okay, that is bad for us. <laughs> oh, no. And, ta and Tatum with the music reference, are we human <coughs> or are we dancers? Okay, good one, Tatum. Okay. Okay, here we go again. We need to make them go all the other two. Oh, they're oh. already doing it themselves. Yep. Oh. And this, I, I can't say if this is some sort of defense mechanism or some natural occurrence, natural creature from this era, or era of this existence. Like, all the laws of reality have already been broken here. Time, space... So, whatever these things are... Oh, now they're making even more copies of themselves. I think it's less breaking of reality, more of it their own rules of reality. Yeah. We are definitely not in Kansas anymore. Or anywhere close. <laughs> in the same plane of damned reality. Did you see that, goggles? They duplicated themselves with that thing. Good thing that doesn't happen to you when you walk on it. After all, there's only one goggles in the world. Well... Uh, um, uh, um. Okay, okay, one lid. Okay, is that going to move? Look. It certainly looks like you'll have to walk across the void. If I were you, I'd avoid falling. I have a sneaking, sneaking feeling that you, if you fall here, you might never reach the bottom. I wonder what it's like to have uh, life forever. Hmm. Live. I suppose, yeah. <clears throat> I suppose you probably uh, end up getting bored, especially toward the end. <laughs> Good points. Also, I don't think I really need to know that... There's things from 3D and 2D all over the place as well. Hello. Okay, invisible bridge. It's which is the way that leads forwards. Now we're just walking on different layers. And here. Okay. That's a bit of solid footing. Uh, this way. Oh, I will hate this one. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting disorientated myself from this. But disorientated and just... Falling? This way. And... There we go. Okay, that's three down, one to go. Yeah, I think Fina and Menos might be having a bit of a mental blue screen moment with all of this, and that Velvet is the only one besides Goggles keeping it in one piece. Right. Or... Are those? Or can or? I think I know what this is. What then? Nope. A dev kit. Think about it. 
Let's see, is that all of them broken or not? Or, oh, we have a limited amount of copies. Okay. Uh, then let's do a bit of a reset. Are they breaking them or not? That completely missed. Let's try that again. Is that all? Yep, that's all. But, yeah, a, a dev kit makes sense. That <laughs> This is basically so far back in time that we entered the beta or even alpha stage of the game. Curious or incurious, sir? Now we, heard so oh, now we hear sounds, kind of like broken pots echoing. But I don't see any pot shards. It's another unsolved mystery. But again, we get past it. This level's too easy. <laughs> All you have to do is walk on these things and the next passage opens. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. For once, we're not too rushed. <laughs> uh, Don't get too ooh. meta, Velvet. Or time might actually just invert on, it, on itself. I don't think it was meta move. She's unaware what's is happening. <laughs> Okay, it might actually be better for her to be oblivious to it. Because otherwise you're going to start thinking things, or thinking about things that might not be too uh, healthy. For your own mentality. Okay, what was that to Tatum? Now it's not recognizing the library mods. Okay. okay. There's something that this music is sort of making, uh, reminding me of, and it's making yeah. <laughs> it's a bit funny. It, it's actually reminding me of the on the water music from Commandos 2. What? Yeah, the, on the water music from Commandos 2, which also had a bit of choir-like uh, quality to it. Okay, but it also sounds familiar to me as well, but I never played Commandos, so that is not the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, we, we, did a we did streams of it, but... Right. But, uh, what, what does it make you think of then? I feel like I heard similar music in many other games uh, that are similar to this one. Yeah, the godly choir is a rather common thing in a lot of yeah, places. Yeah, especially with this uh, melody. Like, they have all their own, their own tunes of variation, but they are... You can uh, put the two and two together, see, they are similar. Yeah. Okay, how do we get down there? We need to be in the air to get there. Uh, oh, wait, I think I see. We hit this here, then hit that. There we go. Uh, let's see. And Shad Square is playing D and D. Okay. Hmm. And there we go. Four or four. Hmm. I hope this is the last stage. But at the same time, I'm beginning to worry about what happens next. How about you, Goggles? Are you scared? Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you that. Or you're a lot stronger than me. I wish I had your courage. Yeah, a lot of... Something that a lot of people get wrong is that courage is not the absence of fear. It's the ability to overcome it. Yeah. Courage yes. and fearlessness are not the same. Yeah, someone who is fearless, who's just as likely to stick their hand in a fire. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Oh, no. 
Are we suddenly going Shadow Mario with this? Shadow Links? That as well. Why do you have to be running goggles? Okay, that just complicated things a little bit. Or I can just... Yeah, that they have a lot more freedom of movement than I do. So I can't really corner camp them. Now they're just outright... Okay, they are, are now outright avoiding my attacks. Or negating them. Not dealing damage. And they're kind of getting in the way of the platforming with this. Uh, yeah, I, I think I might not have needed to hit that button. Uh, okay. okay, yeah, I'm... Okay, I see how this fight is going to go. They're going to go 2D, and then we need to go as w do that as well. Or they do... Okay, I see now the bastards hit it for us. So we can't actually hurt them like this, but they can hurt us. Oh, okay, that, that... That is actually really interesting and also rather annoying. But more yeah. interesting than annoying. Yeah, no, that also means you accidentally gave the advantage earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, now that the strategy is known, let's exploit it. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Yep, yep, now I did it myself. There we go. Yeah, I, th I think one of them hit it just before, but somehow it didn't count. And <laughs> the mid fight level up. <laughs> okay, I I'll say that the people who made this game might not be the absolute best with it, but they are certainly creative. Oh, yeah. For better or worse. Okay. And a fragment of time. Okay, and now we've got all the pieces that we need to hit delete on something. The question is going to remain, what do we delete? Aha, we found it. I'm starting to wonder how exactly we get out of here. You've gotten out of some tight spots, Goggles. I bet you'll think of something. Uh, yeah, think of something. Uh-oh. Now, what in the world is that bizarre machine? It is a sort of flying machine. I have bad associations with that thing. And here I thought I'd never step foot in one of the, those again. It's brilliant. I think it was built by Sid, the famous inventor, but how the hell did it end up here then? His goggles know how to fly it. If you want to call it flying. <laughs> At any rate, we have a way out of here. And hey, we'll be able to travel around the world with this machine. Yep, that one, Tatum. <laughs> Let us be off then. We actually gave him a prototype that he'd made himself. And, well, we... He basically made a flying machine himself in the past. And then he went... <laughs> we went and, well got that thing from the future, gave it to him past his past self, and then he made a better version of it. Oh no. Let's, at least no uh, top-down shooter part for this time. It's flying wing. Use the attack button to land or take off on the world map. 
Okay, so oh. now we have our own time machine, sort of. Or at least we have a flying machine. I'm guessing we will upgrade it to a time machine eventually. Okay, that was rather easy to get out of the anomaly, actually. It, I guess it doesn't. It isn't actually a sort of black hole, unless this thing achieved light speed. Faster than light speeds. Hello. What have we here? The, the, the Sil Forest, okay. Gosh, I will never get over these time shifts. I uh, don't think we can actually do anything here. We've done all the, this. Welcome to the Sil Forest. All time streams converge here to form an infinity of nows. It is a marvelous gift from nature that we are able to spend eternal life in a single instant, over and over and without ends. Do you not think so? Okay, there's nothing new here. This I guess. Let's still take a quick look up here. We found the major key fragment goggles. Your choice draws nearer still. Okay, yeah, nothing new here. Hmm. And yeah, with the flying machine, we can. We can, we should be able to reach other places all over the time. Okay, we get back on it by just pressing X as well. This move this sounds familiar. Uh, I'm not. Uh, it's not ringing any bells or chip tunes, <laughs> you might say. Hello. I wish to know what. Ah, uh, 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 uh. oh, you've received a yes. Uh, are you aren't you going to question how we got the hell out of that? Come back if you change your mind. What happens if you ask them? <laughs> okay, let's do it. You were quite the jokester. <laughs> I'm kinda okay. happy that was just a joke and we did not launch them. <laughs> but that would be horrible. Okay, we could just go from ship to, pl uh, to flying machine. <clears throat> and now I'm reminded of Donkey Kong, yeah, or not Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong Racing. Okay. Can you say that again? I think you mispronounce that. Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing. I almost said Donkey Kong Racing, but he hasn't yeah, had that yet. You I think you accidentally replaced the first letter of D with a T. Diddy Kong Racing? Yeah, that, that's okay. what you actually said. I also said, wait, <laughs> did he say wrong anyway? <laughs> I, I, I just hope I misheard it. I pray I misheard it. Oh, hello, this is... Uh, okay, it's the volcano island, ancient volcano. It's. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. No, just kidding. Another Terminator reference. Turn, 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 and turn once more. Now turn forever. Great destruction imminent. Correcting end of time. Hello. We think of ourselves as rational, sensible creatures, and that our decisions are reasoned. But in fact, most of our choices are based on emotion. Fear is an especially strong emotion. An easy one to stoke as well. Yeah. Who would, would have thought that a game like this would get so deep with philosoph philosophical stuff as well? Or at least dig it up and drop it in our laps? The great destruction that's supposed to trigger the end of time can't be proven scientifically. That makes it a little more than a myth passed down from the Dark Ages. Still, it's precisely to prevent the end of time that the project was undertaken. That could spell everyone's doom. Are you two yeah, exiles think, here or something? I think you meant, uh, deep philosophy on your pinky toe. <laughs> Did you know that the volcano erupted here long ago? We found underwater ruins dating back to the Dark Ages. There was a harbor here, stone dwellings, warehouses, possibly traders as well. 
You know, th this is this is the future, not the past. But Ross? It, what? The, the past, but why why is everything digital like this or Game Boy Advance like this then? Wait. You're Oh, you don't remember? We met at the Molecular Research Center. I was another candidate for maintaining the cycle. Maintaining the cycle? What? But I flunked the preliminary tests. If you are here too, then I suppose... Welcome to the Counter Project. Hello. Hello. So, I think hmm? you're the maintenance guy. The maintenance guy. Let's see. Most of us fled the Molecular Research Center. That project is an even greater threat than the end of time. If it succeeds, will life still have any meaning? It would bring about the end of civilization as we know it. Life is only worth living if you are the master of your own destiny. Otherwise, you only have the illusion of freedom, like living in a movie. That is the message we're going to spread to warn people about the project. Wait, is the, is the project to create an in a gigantic time loop? Then this would be both the present and the future. And things would just... It would... It, it's, it's the wheel of time. <laughs> Things would just repeat infinitely across uh, time. Oh, I suspect that's not good. Yeah. I had quite a disturbing thought. What if the project was already completed? I haven't been able to sleep since. And the, the thing with the Wheel of Time is that... I, I don't know too much about it. I have the books all on red, of course, because... <laughs> I'm a pretend, yeah, I pretend to be a literate or something like that. But the thing with it is, is that time is in an, a loop co constantly, but there are certain people who can affect how things happen. So they can change time, but it'll only be for a limited amount of time that it will have effect. It, on, in a way, it is rather disturbing slash depressing that whatever happens is going to be undone again. But that, that is just my amateur, unknowing opinion, or speculation of it. I discovered an old manuscript about a prophet who spoke of the great destruction in the Dark Ages, but no mention of the end of time. Perhaps that concept didn't appear until later. We need more records to carry out in-depth historical research. And besides, most people don't really want to know the truth. And this is the... This is both past and present. Okay, so I don't think we can really do much more here. Uh, actually, let me double check. Can't go in there. And yeah, we've been in here. Hmm. Okay, so what we do now then is to go back and assemble the key. We have all parts. So... Wait, we can't go here because there's no magilis there yet. But there is one here. Would still like it if they let us enter the area relative to where we were on the section of map, but it's just, it's a small thing. So then, let's use this thing to return to our more known times. Wonderful. We have the Fragment of Time. I would never have thought it would be inside the Anomaly. You know of the Anomaly? Only you, Goggles, were capable of finding it in there. I'm happy I chose you. We share one destiny. You have gathered the five fragments of the Magi Key. Come back to me. We need to activate it to remove the weapon from the fabric of time. I, I believe the, f the weapon is what causes the anomaly, but what follows after that? What does the anomaly do? Does it just... Is the anomaly a big bang? Like, that's... It's... It envelops all of reality eventually. And then has a big crunch where all of reality is, well, crunched down into one singular point, which then creates a big bang. Oh, hello, Ness. Did we overlook you last time? 
And yeah, from there, time just repeats. But yeah, I've never seen you around here. You new? Give me some space, I'm training. I want to get as strong as Goggles, our village hero. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess in a way, we are playing the Wheel of Time lights. Time is infinitely cycling, but we are managing to change things. And I guess our ultimate goal now is to, well, to break the cycle. To end the endless repeating, to let new life start. Congratulations. I knew you could gather the five fragments. The Magi Key. I saw it in a dream. Thank you, Ceres. I don't know what we would have done without you. Soon this nasty weapon will no be nothing but a bad memory. I can't wait to see my village and my dad again. That won't change much for me. I'm happy for you, Miss Fina. Douglas, are you sure you want to do that? We can't predict what will happen. Of course not, Velvet. But we've already talked this over. What was the point of going through so much only to turn back now? I guess if it's if too, I guess it is too late to change your mind. If it if it is too late or something, whatever, something is spelling it. Grammar. Let us recreate the key. I think the real thing we want to remove is the project. The key. We have recovered the key. We have the key. Now, what is the lock? Or are we going to even have a choice? What the? Okay, I guess Ceres did decide then that the weapon was the thing to be removed. But will that break the cycle? And there's the village. And there goes the last of the crater. Now, how will time have reacted to this? We will certainly have prevented the smug uh, from existing. The prophets will be nothing more than just a lunatic kid. Goggles. It worked. The weapon has disappeared. Thank you. You don't need to thank us, Ceres. We would we should be thanking you. Thanks to you. My power is back. Uh Okay, so we did do a bad thing then, it seems. Ceres! What are you doing? I should have known. I was born with great powers. Sorry, I have not mastered them yet. Because of that, I have been chased and finally captured. The one who did this... Wait, you are the subject who was imprisoned. You was you're the project... This, the subject who was... The, who this yeah, power was being siphoned from. He wants to weaken me and st to steal my powers. Professor Gyro. It's him. So it was you. The girl he captured. And that he used to create the weapon. And yes, she, de she deleted the weapon around herself. 
So she remained. It was me. And now that the weapon has disappeared from the timeline, you have your powers back. Question is... What are you going to use them for? Yes, I think so. I would ask you just one question, Ceres. How did you manage to escape from Professor Gyro? I did not know the man, but I certainly heard of him in my era. No one ever left his laboratory to tell the tale. One day, when I was weakened, he released his control. It lasted only a few moments. I used the last bit of strength left in me. I opened a portal. A portal through time. And I sent him straight into it. I fled the laboratory. But the Empire continued chasing me. Okay, that explains why there is a, a Professor Gyro in the Empire and in the Magi era. That's when Goggles and Fina came to my aid. Huh? What were the chances? It seems you and Goggles are linked together in some way. Wait. Wasn't there a demon girl that we basically saved from the Empire? Yeah, that's her. You forgot that? There's a lot that's happened in this game and a lot of just pretzel thinking that needs to happen to try and think things through but yeah that 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 was hurt that's exactly what i was thinking okay oh the guardian i found it uh what are you up to now guardian yes i have to go if i had more time you could have come with me Together, we could have destroyed time itself. Uh, destroyed time? What are you saying, Ceres? I am sorry. It was my destiny. I have to go. I have to wake the Guardian. And I must destroy it. Farewell. So, did we basically just uh, release Sephiroth? She left us. Hmm. I wonder what or who that Guardian could be. That's not really our concern, Velvet. Remember when she mentioned destroying time? Yeah, I think she might be taking destroying the cycle a bit too literally or a bit too far. Perhaps it was only in jest? Uh, I doubt so, Menos. I doubt she has your kind of <laughs> humor. Hard to imagine she was joking, Menos. She seemed pretty deadpan. Come on, who would joke about something like that? Wherever she's gone off to, we've got to catch her. The mention of a guardian has me intrigued. Let's see what this is all about. How foolish of me to think all this adventure was behind us. Yeah, I think we uh, have a bit to go still. Okay, oh, then. Bloody heck. Yeah, th this game, I feel like it's starting to uh, uh, in length, going towards a main length length. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's not me. Carlos, what the heck was that sound? I would rather not know, honestly. Look at that. It's the serpent. It's tiny cheeky. Okay, looks like it's more than just a serpent. It's uh It's a big one. Oh, whoop. That certainly has a final slash semi final boss look to it. I guess it was not shade, it was just part of its thing. Yeah, part of its being. And from uh, <laughs> Tatum, the that's potato. an abomination. <laughs> yeah, what's that thing? 
I really know that's the infamous guardian. Okay, now I seriously don't want to know more. Too bad, Velvet. <laughs> Do you believe Ceres can dispatch this giant fiend? He's a big one, alright. But we have to prevent Ceres from destroying time. If the only way to, you know, to get on that Guardian's bad side... If the only way is to get on that Guardian's bad side, let's get it over with. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've... Okay. Hello. The Magi were in a way... The ones who... Uh... Adam is stalking the end of time, dude, so they pissed her off. Okay, okay, it's flying around as well. Oh, wait. Uh... Did we just fly into it or something? Oh, oh there. Goggles! I can't see much from here. We, <laughs> we've got to get even closer if we want to find Ceres. I don't know if that's a, a good idea, Fina. Nope. There looks to be some er, er, some tem yeah. There looks to be some temporal uh, anomalies near the Guardian. Another reason to stay away, don't you think? With all due respect, Miss Velvet, what difference is one more reckless move on our part? <laughs> that's a point there. Yes, I see your point. Well, goggles, goggles should make the final call. Shall we go? Yeah, I think this is the la I think this is the point of no return. This is the end game. I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, but wait, what? Before we do that, though, let's actually have a look here at the restored village, oh, which is now abandoned. Okay. And it's been a long time indeed since I saw a fresh face out here. But with that fancy wind technology, all the young folks have flocked to Genova. Once upon a time, this village was full of life, but little by little, it's shriveled up. That's the circle of life for you, I suppose. But the place is so dear to me, I could never bring myself to leave. Wait. You look a lot like someone my mother used to talk about. She told me you would come uh, someday. But how could she know that? Uh, here, she left this for you. A, a collectible star? Uh, wait. With that hair, and the, mostly the green parts. Is this Fina's daughter? Which wouldn't make too much sense since Fina is currently, well, <laughs> traveling around by time, but I guess. Yeah, more timey wimey bullshit. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at. Let's have a look at some places. Uh, no. Pyramid of the Prophets. Uh, they're still here. Huh? Okay, do you say anything new? Don't even try to scale the pyramid. It's uh, yeah, the, nothing new. Okay, so though the weapon was removed from time and the great disaster prevented it, it seems that the cult of the prophet still sprang up, but at the very least, there's no smug technology now. So hopefully life is better here now. Or at least more survivable. My, you're as pale as a ghost. What if the sun would do you good? Are you interested in reducing your energy consumption? We'll upgrade your entire installation with the latest technology. For the modest sum of 100,000 G, you could reduce your energy bills by up to 2% annually. No. What are you, sales pitch proof? <laughs> if everybody's like you, my business will go down the drain. Okay. Now, things look at least better here. There's still these jackasses marching around. Uh, da -da -da. All the way to Sil Force, but time's done still. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, actually, these two were... These two were uh, foreshadowing the Sil Forest and the Frozen Continent then. Okay, that, that's actually nice. 
And there he ruins the mood. Okay, so not much, not, no, things have changed greatly, but not entirely. So again, sort of like the Wheel of Time. Which again, I don't know enough about to make real hard uh, assumptions about, or conclusive decisions. Oh, my brain. Everyone, it oh my god, it's finally loaded! Okay. Yeah, it looks like we, when we used the key, it was more like using a scalpel than a hammer. I think I would have been safer with the pirates after all. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. Okay. <laughs> well, this is a genre we hadn't done yet. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, we can go... Oh, that's not something I think I've seen in some inside for stuff like this before. As you can jump back hey, onto your flying machine. You get into a tank, but... Not a flame machine. Okay, they're a bit too low to hit with that. With the wing. Okay. Yeah, still got hits. Okay, yeah. Again, not the best project, but it is still very creative. Nope. Oh, oh okay, the wind is blowing too strongly. Okay, heavy suppressive fire, yeah, we the wind is too strong for the for the wing. Taking a lot of hits. But hoping something will. I'm hoping something will stop dropping health because we need it. Give me that. But we'll be on time, or we should be fine. And I can say we can go over time if we need to. We are very close to the ending. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Just freezing them and dropping them to the ground to shatter. There we go, finally. Uh, well. Oh, come on. There we go, that's instant kills them. Oh yeah, that was a bit bold. Again, cre very creative, but not the best <laughs> at making a, a great product. Still a still a good product, just not with enough yeah issues that it does get annoying at times. These will do. We don't pop them, but don't want to find out either. Okay, they just pop on their own. Okay, that is way easier to take those things out. Messed up the charge. Then the charge got interrupted. There we go.
And of course, there was a heart down there. Yep. Oh. Damn it. Roar! Yeah, definitely could have used a bit more quality control here and there. But again, it is overall it's still a very good game. Just its flaws are very clearly showing it here and there. Yeah, like it's going to be creative, but there is a limit to not go overboard with creativity, but I can give backfire. Go. You're a long one. Oh, you're not alone as well. <laughs> that was well timed. There we go. Goggles of Sword I must be getting really tired from all of this. Like that. Wait. Okay, they were still attacking whilst frozen? Or is it more that it just really slows them down? Possibly. Splitting path. Okay, yeah, we could use the extra life. Is it that we never got the full Oricon armor? True. And we never upgraded anyone to level well, level three. But oh well. Maybe there's still some after this. Maybe, but... Uh, at this point, I don't care anymore. And I'll... I just pray they're not gonna be... the thing that bite us uh, in the rear for missing out. In a way that, really? uh, you know, like, uh, if, if you will not be able to finish the game unless we have those uh, fully upgraded. I doubt the game is going to be that hard. It's been annoying at certain parts, definitely, be not, but not unfair. Uh, um, despite the wind. I moment you thought it was a bit unfair. I forgot what, though. Uh, I think it was the, uh, the fighting game section. Yeah, that would have been one of them. And that uh, early on when you were to chase, chase one of the twins to rooftops. Uh, that could get got annoying, but that was more a case of you have to memorize some parts, I think. At least they're generous with the save points here, or the checkpoints. Yeah. Okay, how much further? Good. me. Don't need to rush. You almost got crushed there. Okay. 
Yeah, th this sort of thing has done, been done a lot worse. So at least this is, yeah, not as frustrating as it could have been. It, not the targets I wanted, but I'll take it. it There we go. Make the hard. Hey. Okay, th those multi spitters are getting really annoying because they, even when we kill them, they're bound to do some damage because they explode. Okay. them both. Okay, yeah, this bit is a bit much with just these landmines everywhere and the snakes. Please get rid of another one. At least these things have art in them, but just grappling them will cost you more health anyway. This is rather poorly designed. Yeah. Again, creative. But probably is they didn't stop to think, is this a good idea? It was it's a creator idea, it doesn't mean it's a good idea. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's creative to try and think of a better version of the wheel, but I don't think you're going to get much better than just a plain circle to move things with. What hit? Oh, stupid little my landmine. Actually, there. That's a better choice here. There we go. Much better. Then we go to Velvet to deal with the flyers. Or the non snaky fl uh, flyers. Yep, missed. I released too early, but oh well. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, here it might be us uh, being rather incompetent. Or... Okay, yeah, I will put, put myself into the desk. I'd be perfectly be incompetent here. There we go. Yeah, use the use Fiona, no Fiona, Fina's attack against the snakes. Velvet against these guys, and Menos to break through barriers. Uh, but those little mind jackasses still do a hell of a lot of damage, it seems. There. So much money. Now, 
missed. Yeah, they they really should have eased up on this bit here. Like, at, if it, at the very least, if you destroy these things, don't have them throw their whatever their damaging bits upwards and around. Just have them just be destroyed without causing damage. Unless you can use them to destroy other enemies. For if they, these things can help destroy these things, that would be great. But I don't think that's what happens. Yeah. Enough. Okay, made it through with a good amount of health this time. There are those. And I'll have to use Fina's attack to deal with the just sheer amount that we'll be facing in a bit. So, saving up. Come on! Come on! Yep. Get over 9,000 gold. But we keep the money and probably the XP for each time we die, so... Yeah, it's at least... Uh, it's at least easing up on that. Yeah, that means we can by accident we call it accidental level up uh, a lot from this. An accidental grind. I think we get I think we get restored to full health when we level up. So that yeah, might be useful also, at some points. I mean no, like once we level up we also get more health and stats as well. Yeah. So, yeah, slowly but surely, it would, we should be making progress, but still, just the sheer amount of getting thrown at us is a bit much. Yeah, yeah. Also, those things do like 26 damage, that is way too much for the little landmine things. Seriously, they need, they're... I, I was praising them about their checkpoints, but they really should have put more in here. And of course, the attack gets interrupted because we got damaged. Uh, yeah, they, the problem with this game is that they, they try so many things, but it also includes things they're not actually that great at designing for it. And just bullshit like that. They, uh, say this, they try too many different things. Uh, say this, if we stuck on this part to five, this is about 50 minutes, a little bit more. Yeah. Fucking I will not, <laughs> uh, I will not blame you for wanna end it here. Uh, oh, that, I think we broke the coin counter. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, seriously, those mines do way too much damage. I said, you can't overlook them. them. Like, the, the, the mines adds a unnecessary difficulty spike. Like, the mobs are difficulty as it is. The mines is just unnecessary. Yeah, they could have just as easily just put a wall if they didn't want you to move. Have if you want, they don't to mo limit your movement. And plus, they they can go you, they can go unnoticed. That one there is very easy to miss. They do way too much damage. Like twenty six, it was. Okay, let there be a save point or the end here. Because that was just stupidly you know, annoying and difficult compared to the rest. Okay, I think we're through. 
apparently for that, this is why I'll get there's something else here. Come on, at least a freaking checkpoint. Oh, there we go. What was that? I think we're losing altitude. You are not mistaken. This creature is descending. It's going to crash. Oh. Doggles? Fina? Menos? Velvet? What are you doing here? We came... Well, we came here to stop you from destroying time. Sorry, Saris. But we can't let you do this. No, you don't understand. It must be done. In any case, there's no stopping it now. I've destroyed the Guardian's heart. He will crash, thus granting me access to the project. The project? What kind of project? You are not aware? But you've traveled to the major area, have you not? I think, yeah, we're going to get things exposed here. Or exposed. Or not. I must act quickly, lest Professor Gyro prevent me from destroying the project. Goodbye. Professor Gyro? But he's dead, isn't he? Yep. She told no. you before, he's... She threw him into the Magi era. Apparently not. Look. The Guardianing's falling. Nope, oh, sorry for whoever is down below here. Well, <laughs> huh? Oh, look over there. Could that be the anomaly? How is that possible? Was it created by the crash of the Guardian? I saw an explosion when it crashed. It is probably probably what Sarah was talking about. Access to the project? That it would be inside the anomaly? If that's true, we need to get there right now. We need to prevent Zeris from destroying time. I'm counting on you, Goggles. Well, looks like there's a bit more to go then. I feel it's teasing us too much with... This is the end! This is the finale! No, this is the finale! No, this is the finale! No! Kane, uh, please! What have we here? Hmm, this definitely wasn't here the last time we came this way. That's weird on my favorite ancient tome. Considering how much we've altered the timeline, I confess I no longer have a clue. Anyway, that symbol is just like the one on the Stone of Time. Indeed. The Stone of Time. To think I've dreamt of it for so long. Well, let's go search for it. Okay, if, if luck is in our favor, this will lead us to Ceres. We reach the end of our quests. If I remember correctly, we left it on the Cursed Isle. Okay, so now we're going to create another time loop. Because the, the Stone of Time was retrieved from the anomaly. And we're going to put it right back there. So, where did it come from originally? Yeah. And then again, when something is in a time loop, it doesn't really need to have an origin anymore, huh? Also, I'm pretty sure we could just activate it again if we put a big enough rock in there. Okay, also, the Sphinx might not be the villain. Yeah. Gyron it... might be, and the... I think she means some. By the time she thinks she means something else. Yeah, she means break the project, break the time loop. Yeah, she's just wording it poorly. Okay, Stone of Time. Now what is that going to do? A portal! Goggles, quick! I still don't get why Ceres is doing all this, but we have to stop her either way. 
Solid snail. Remember that Ceres possesses the weapon's power. I don't believe we shall dissuade her without a direct confrontation. Be prepared to fight. Surely Ceres has her reasons to do what she's doing. Don't you think, Goggles? Perhaps we'd be better off staying out of it. Now yeah, we've meddled enough, so let's continue on being meddlesome kids so we don't have a dog. We have Inky? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, we do have me. Damn it! <laughs> What's... Truly none of this. It almost seems to contain the entire universe. No, not the universe. Time itself. Ceres, where are we? In the heart of the anomaly, where the Magi hit their great project. So this is the project then? But why are you so keen to destroy it? The Magi wished to prevent the end of time, so they undertook the project. In order to curve time. Curve time? Destroying the project will most probably destroy time, but if there is even a minuscule chance that it yeah, doesn't come to pass, so it must be done. There's no other way. You're wrong, Saris. There's always another way. Well, if you feel so strongly... Uh... Fina! She vanished! Now, Velvet? Velvet! No! Sod Snail, you have to fight! Oh, Goggles. I would have hoped you, at least, would understand me. What? But I'm directly connected to the project. Why am I unable to erase you? Just who are you, anyway? Hello? Upgrading powers. Goggles' power has been awakened. You can now slow time- You can now slow time itself? What? You're the Time Lord? I get it now. Our fate was not to understand one another. But rather to fight one another. Why do I get the feeling this is going to get into a reference to the first Evo Land? Uh, okay. Well, then we have those little things. No in 3D! Now, these are different than. Or... Uh, from the Mega uh, era, when there was a small robot patrol was in pixels. Okay, yeah. How? Okay, how do we slow down time then? It didn't I, really give an example of how to. I don't like when games have that as a sound effect. And usually, when people hear that, they usually associate it to a the game is lagging or about to crash or something. Or yeah, some. It, some things are coll making collisions that shouldn't be making collisions. Yeah, and there has been a moment when game is about to crash and such. Oh wait, that oh. Then they make that sound. Okay, slow time is our own charge attack now. Okay. Okay, it doesn't last that long actually. Oh, oh, and dead. Okay. Yep. Uh, can we at least skip all of the cutscenes? Yes, we can. Okay. Except for this one. Why are there five orbs? I've only six. I see five.
Yeah, it looks like those are just going to constantly reactivate. Or maybe there's a limited amount of them, just a lot. Yeah, I hope there's a limited amount of the ads with this. Because otherwise, actually, that would, could also be in our negative, since we would be left without healing items and such. Or healing drops, at least. Yeah. We'll see. I hope they just want us to finally finish with this game. Well, I don't hate it, but I do feel like it's been dragging on a little bit too long. Yeah. And as nice as the diversions are in the changes of gameplay, they can also be really annoying because they're not as well made as the rest of the game. Yeah, some of them at least. And I can see them become a very big issue for some gameplay they are shown can be a person's Achilles heel. Yeah. Now uh, basically they get caught stuck there because it's a gameplay they struggle way too much with. And yeah, it looks like we are going to run out of these little guys eventually. Unless they respawn off screen. Okay. Nope. Uh what are you up to now? Nope. <laughs> okay, little dance partner. Up there, hello. Up, oh, we just loop around. Okay. He's going all Sonic. For Metroid? Okay. Oh, uh, hello. And what the heck is this a reference to? Oh. If a reference at all. It is a reference to very old uh, space games you shoot uh, from yeah. the side. Like uh, the old uh, Silver Surfer game. Uh, I think like those are maybe actual spaceships. I forgot the. Like, I think there's Cobra Strikes and a few other ones. And then about someone for Super Nintendo and Sega and such that I never played. I have played this save console once. It was not my own. Uh, they played just my help of the game that. Mm. Uh, I was more thinking about is this designer reference story original? Maybe. I'm not be surprised if it's a reference to something for there are many old games uh, that I don't think played or just... Sega and other things. Oh, like, come on. I'll be on the finale if I see no more no health bars on there. I think this is the finale, yes. Just need to avoid... Uh... First priority is avoiding everything. Oh, come on, you just teleport inside of me. Okay, who Let's takes at least the one damage? Don't tell me I need to redo all of that. We re need to redo all of that. Oh, come on, at least put checkpoints in your final fucking boss. If they're going to be a pest. Uh, uh, okay, one more try. Yeah, we are about to end stream soon. 
say it'd be um, okay about screwing overtime, but this. Yeah. And what's annoying is that this is the quote unquote upgraded version since it's part of the leg and legendary edition. Okay, what we'll want to do is try and get as much health by the end of this, since we're not we're not going to get rare moments to heal us. Actually. Okay, I still have one potion. Yeah, it's full health. Okay, that is going to be our ace in the hole. Okay. Yeah, but I think we want to use it on the last where stage. We died. Yeah, at the last stage. Oh, her tanks will do only one damage until you hit yourself. There. Yeah, I, I don't see how the slow time bit is actually going to be of any help since it's also so extremely short. The Prince of Persia, this ain't. I see there's some use of it, but the use is all very limited. Yeah, and plus we have to charge it up. There we go. Well, we're getting more and more XP. But still. Uh, yeah, they should have put checkpoints between these, or at least at the halfway point. Yeah, they should have. this game, but so much has happened that it, it kind of drags it down a bit. Yeah. Like, overall, it is a good game. It's just that they try too much. They, they try to do too many things. Like, too many cooks in the kitchen and all that. Yeah, like, the story is, is decent little game. Actually good. Not great, but... It Good and decent, but... Here we go, I'm going to save the potion. It's as even said, they, they try too much. There are too many things, they tried too many things. Yeah. Yes. So can I just... Okay, I can destroy the lower jaw first, which sent out those... Yeah. We started sending out those annoying laser bots. Yeah, okay, still going to do that. Okay. Really? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. Or do you want to give it one more try? Because this really does feel like the end boss. It better be the final. Like, if there's one more thing after we defeat her. Uh, oh. I, I just realized. Five orbs. Why five orbs? We have three companions. I think that's the keys. Uh, the fra okay, the fragments, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just realized I'm concerned. Yeah, that's she good. is not the final boss. Yeah, I think she is. But there's going to be epilogue stuff as well. I'm more meaning... 
Professor Gyro. This probably would have been a lot easier if we had the Oricon armor, but uh, well... Yeah, well, at least our allies powers. Let's like shoot in the, the ice and the slash rune beam. Almost more helpful than slowing time. Here. It does let us get more hits in. I, I, okay, I probably should try to use it more during the coming bits, but still, actually, did we get our potion back? Yes, okay. That would have been an absolute horror if. I was saying this if we die, we should go to the witch and get more potions. Uh, we can only get the uh, half health potion, but yeah, if we fail, if this attempt fails, I'm going to leave the rest of this for next time. Okay. Give me that. Yeah. The next time we probably have another game prepared to get ready to you go to Red Bull away, depending yep. how long it takes for us to defeat uh, this boss. Easy dodge for that attack. Up, still hits. Yep, but oh, come on. Okay, second to last phase. We enter at full health. Okay. Okay, top side first. Because of these annoying things. Yeah, it doesn't really give much of it. Yeah, it doesn't give much of a warning on that attack going off, especially when it's already flashing from getting attacked. Okay, come on. timing on that. They should have made it a button press, not the charge attack. Okay. Get out of that thing. Uh, 
Uh, this is over. <sighs> there. Goggles? I never wish to fight you. And I don't think you ever wanted this either. Reality is breaking apart. I think we've gone too far. I can no longer see the past or the future. We have reached the end of time. So, what will happen now? The project has been damaged by our fights. Will it be enough to stop the cycle of time? If not, everything will start over. The same times, the same events, the same struggles, the same fate for all. For both of us too. My power is fading. I will disappear, goggles. And it frightens me. Maybe one day we'll find each other again. And if only fate remains... Together we will change this world. I'll wait for you, G. Gungle still hasn't returned. He'll be back. Espina? It's been several days. We cannot wait any longer. What are you suggesting, Menos? Hmm? Just leave without him? I... Menos is right, Fina. We cannot stay here. I don't know what time or what world lies ahead, but we have to go. Well then, go! Just leave without me. I'm not going anywhere without goggles. It's Fina. Solid Snail is most assuredly... There's no point, Menos. She's made up her mind. We need to respect that. We shall await you beyond the portal, Miss Vina. Let's go then. Goggles. Where are you?
<laughs> just crush it. The Emperor and Dolkin. Or Dolkin. The. You again. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay, Velvet got a statue. <laughs> okay. And there's the young prophet causing problems. Those idiots again. Finding Mew or Mewtwo. Uh, that's Mew. Mewtwo be bigger. <clears throat> Jinsu and their friends, the, <laughs> the Jet Lees and the uh, Bald Bull. Okay, and the Vikings on their melting continent with the Jon Snow, who knows not how to solve this, the, and the troll. Okay. The Sylphs, and all of them finally get their freaking audience. Hello. What are you doing in the anomaly, old man? There was something about him. There's a lot about this. Oh, hello. Wait, you two are alive again? Huh? Menos and Velvet. And, oh, hello. A, a crib? Hey, I, 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 was, I was putting oh. a serious mother child. And uh, Fina in a laboratory. Hello. Oh, oh, toggles? It's gonna get in a cliffhanger. Oh, um, it's gonna a cliffhanger! And just a bit of a mood whiplash with the music. Okay. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this is a reference to at least one anime with the running stuff. Uh, actually, no, I, I think some Mario games end like this. Either way. Uh, I'm kind of looking... If I've been looking down here because that's because I've been looking if there are multiple endings about this game or not. And let's see. Uh, yeah. I think the Marco said there is only one, but uh, he did say the memory were rusty. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's... Okay, I'm not seeing anything about mo different endings. There, I did saw something about a video about a 100% ending, but uh, we'll look up. I'll take a better look at that later. Uh, let's see. Okay, if they say 100% ending, that means there is two endings. Uh, if it, there was, the TV tropes probably would have uh, mentioned that as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, finally, 
Thanks for playing. Oh, it was a rather small team. Yeah. Okay, that, that helps explain some stuff as well. But I also feel like they made it, they game more hard for them to work with with so many things Different thrown things, into yeah. it. Yeah, they, they, they overstow. Oh, hello, there's more. Yeah, but this is very obvious Chrono Trigger referencing, I think. Or actually, no, this is similar to the start of the game. Are you awake? Are you feeling better? My father fa Okay, the time let this You don't remember anything, not even your name? Maybe you should go in the forest. It could help with you with your memory. Oh, and my name is Fina. I I hope you remember everything quickly. And the time loop starts over again. So I'm guessing the hundred percent thing yep. is to deal with uh, that. Or maybe Okay. <laughs> this was um... unexpected. Uh, where's Menos? Seventy-two oh, percent. Okay, I, th I think I. This changes depending on how much percentage you have. Okay. Well, uh, we can look that up. Where is Manos? Yeah, that, that, that's what I asked. I'm, I'm guessing if we get like eighty percent or something, Manos shows up. Along with but, yeah. more characters, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, if. <clears throat> uh, can we, okay, need to click. To, I'm guessing the quote-unquote ending will be mostly the same. But... Hmm, yeah, that, that puts a bit of a damper on things. On, yeah, let's... Okay, first off, I'll quit the game and then on something with a better <laughs> keyboard than my phone. I'm going to look up a thing quickly for Evil Land 2 uh, 100% ending okay there uh, let me pull that free and let's see uh, can I change a window capture to that I don't remember if it can capture uh, browsers or not might as well use Evil Land 2's because well we're done with the game now uh, let's see, chatty, friends list, vast browser. Okay, apparently it can't recognize Firefox for some reason, apparently. And wait, oh damn it, I still had, <laughs> I still had uh, another browser open. Oh, oh well, I'll just open that up and use that instead. Pause that quickly. Okay. Uh, pull the browser... I'll pull a tab free from it, then Evo Land 2 100% ending. Okay, change the screen capture to. Can it see it? See, uh. Wait, why is it. Okay, it only wants to go for one of them, not. What? Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. I'll just have to put up a quick something, I think. Actually, display capture, turn that on. Oh, no, that's the zoomed in one for, uh, well, catching, <clears throat> for catching specific things. Uh, if, can I shrink things down a bit then to better fit to see? Uh, oh, yeah, this is for... Yeah. This was for the 4x3 ratio games that just wouldn't want to capture. So, there. Uh, yeah, don't uh, forget to credit whoever upload uh, these parts. Yeah, uh, let's see. Pegans. Uh, that's not showing on there for the moment. Uh, yeah, Pegans there. 
Okay. There. Yeah, they're giving credit to the original upload of this video here. Okay. And yeah, there we go. Let's see. Volume. Is it? It's not muted. I can't. Wait, did I? There wasn't much. Uh, uh, there was only some music there, but that uh... yeah, could be I that they we... got a copy. That. Hmm. Let's. See. Okay, it doesn't look like this. Hmm. Yeah. Now we only double check if there's something else that happened. Okay. Apparently, either something is. Just not playing the music for some reason, or it's silent. But it looks like there actually isn't. Yeah, and apparently the the character's original name is Kuro. And I okay, I can hear some of the music, but it's very soft for some reason. And yeah, it oh, it's only changes oh. by adding characters. Okay. And she's there. And him for some freaking reason. Okay. Now that's a... Yeah, that does make it a bit of a downer ending that they are stuck in a time loop. And yeah. Huh. But at least there is, I guess, wriggle room for them. Like at, at some point they might be able to do... To break the time uh, the the time loop is still at that's, some point yeah that's a, this uh, it's a bit of a downer ending oh uh, well <clears throat> yeah again it was uh, are we gonna say it's decent it's decently good but not great yeah uh f i've yeah i I very much doubt that there would be an Evil Land 3, and if there was, I also very much doubt that it would be a continuation of Evil Land 2. Possibly, but yeah, it's, uh, it's. I feel like they, they have talent. There is talent. I mean, I mean they have talent yeah. and creativity. Yeah, they just bit off too much, uh, more than they could chew. Yeah, so if they do more games, I hope they. We put those two experience to good use in the next game. New mm. story and all, probably would be the best. I would not yeah, be let's... against Evil and 3 if it actually has a better ending. Yeah, or if it does continue on from there. Let me actually see uh, the Steam page. Shiro Games is the publisher. Shiro Unlimited is... Yep, no, the, Shiro Games is the developer. Shiro Unlimited is the publisher. And let's see, they do... Oh, okay, they've they've got quite some other things under their belt as well, it seems. Uh, Northgard, Darksburg, Dune Spice Wars, and War Tales. Okay. Wait, those? So what do I have heard of? Yeah, Dune Spice Wars is the most recent Dune game, I believe. But these are all more RTS-style games. Where top-down strategy is... And Shiro Unlimited, I'm guessing that's going to be... I don't know, Shiro Un... Well, yeah, Shiro Unlimited has the same. Hmm. Okay, so they've definitely expanded outwards. And they've got a new game upcoming called Abyssals. A survival city builder in the depths... <laughs> in... Okay, it's the underwater game. one. I okay. see gameplay of that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's I guess see. Eveland kind of was the one that put them on the map, and the other and, and people entrusted the APs to them. Uh, yeah, Eveland one came out in 2013. Eveland two in 15, and then three years later, Northgard. The next year, Eveland Legendary Edition. The next year, Dorksburg, and 2023, uh, War Tales. So, okay, 
the Dune game is missing from the publisher side. That came out in 2022. Okay, so they've definitely they've definitely changed. Yeah, I'm guessing with they yeah, I'm guessing they indeed got someone's attention with the Evil Land games. Okay. Yeah. For again, I will admit it may have said a very really well as it take them almost in a way. Yeah. So maybe someday there will be an Evil Land three. Maybe some one that will be or one that will be a lot better paced. But still, despite its flaws and some very very flawed areas in this game. I I say I still like I still liked it overall. Yeah, same, same. Mm. Just the ending and the frustration is what will make me it will make it hard for me to recommend it to others. Mm. Okay, yeah, it looks like they are still actively. Oh no, this this was from four years ago. But uh, yeah, I'm guessing a small chance that we'll ever see another game of it. But, yeah, it looks like they've moved on to bigger things. So, yeah, just still uh, nice to see that they they managed to well, kickstart their careers with uh, Evil Land 1 and 2. And yeah, oh, yeah, it was a small group. Definitely not a, a small group anymore. But, yeah. Uh, still rather sour that it's a freaking time loop and that we couldn't uh, change that even if we found if there was a secret ending or if there simply puts with the legendary edition they should have put in a secret ending where yeah you could break the time loop but yeah sometimes yeah. some things are just not meant to be said enough and we still do we still have a lot of open questions like who and what the hell is goggles? Uh, but oh, yeah. God. Either way, though, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me go swap over to Twitch. There, change windows, Twitch, and go live. And let's see. Okay, uh, Tatum is playing Minecraft. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I'm a put, yeah, I put together a mod pack, so I'm a play that. Uh, Hisaya Rozier is playing Tauhu or Tohu Project. I don't know how to say that, but I know that Hex really likes that, or at least liked that. They seem to jump from thing to thing every now and then. Or actually, I think I might be thinking of someone else. Sorry about that, Hex. No, you're right. They, they have been liking that as well. Uh, no, I meant more the jumping around stuff. That's someone else, I think. Uh, Chubbers is streaming Dark Souls. Edrim is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Big Fish streams with Baldur's Gate 3. Kiri Natsuyoka with MacPixel 3. I think I've signed a thing about MacPixel. I think it's a comedy game of sorts. Uh, let's take a peek. Never heard of. Yeah, I th uh, let's um. It, it's, it's a parody game, I believe, or a parody series. <laughs> I'm I... entirely sure. See, they shilling out, literally. Yeah, hit an ice box. Okay. No, mm. that's a... Oh, God. I think that's a Yakuza filled with ice. <laughs> Anyways, next up we have Karenai with Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Uh, Puffle, who is streaming Ocarina of Time. And last but not least, Horatius the Dwarf, who is playing Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. That game is just oddly popular among some streamers today, it's, or these days, it seems. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I would say that we, we should read a little potato. Yeah, I was thinking about... I, I was thought you would go for that. And Okay, it looks like McPixel is sort of like uh, Henry Stickman. It's the, <laughs> a fun game. Okay. For now, let's go raid Tatum, who is probably still listening in somewhat and is, <laughs> knows that it was where we're coming in. So, copy the name, slash raid, and paste. But before we uh, start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Beryllius. And thank you, as always, Drakir. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. And we've gone quite a bit over time with that, 35 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll still have our second stream today of uh, Owlboy. 
unless something comes in you know, gets in the way but that's unlikely so yeah uh yeah in about two and a half hours we'll get to that but for now thank you all again for watching i'm gonna start that raid and yeah uh, thank you all again and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe all and watch out for zombie Fine singles <laughs> and uh helians flying boots we are still trying to catch Thank mm -hmm. you.